Don't you hate when people who claim that they can't stand your ass, they tell everyone they don't like you, they slander you. Don't you hate when people like that copy everything you do? That's so fucking annoying. Like seriously, you don't like me, but we copy my hairstyle. You can't stand me, but I'm going to tell you about a few incidents with me. Well, maybe one. Now, there's these chicks. I'm not going to mention names on here or whatever like that. Still not going to mention names. Swear up and down they couldn't stand me. And I'm not necessarily talking about nobody on YouTube. So don't nobody be like, oh, she, who she talking about? Oh, she talking about me. Oh, you know, uh, she, she's, she's um, start, shit started now. I'm talking about my experiences. Okay, so get your shit, get your life. You know, first of all, I don't know why you trolling this blog channel. But get your life, okay? This is about my experiences. If I ain't mention your name and you still think I'm talking about you, then that's your own personal problem. You need to work out, okay, dear? All right. So, anyway. <laughs> I witnessed some fuckery that went on on Instagram, right? And these same bras that was talking shit about me for years. Why the fuck they was coming against this other chick trying to use my tactics? The same tactics I used to defend myself. They call themselves, now they got the little technology on the phone now because the shit everybody was doing on, that, that's do, doing on their phones now, the, 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 uh, the, what you call that, the, the, the screen screenshots and calling themselves Queen Sweets Our Baby. I was doing that shit back in 2009. You just now getting up with the fucking programs, but now they got these little apps on the phone. I been was doing that shit. So they know this about me. So why they try to use the same tactics on another person and they did it they used the tactics, but then they, they didn't use it properly. They used it, but it didn't uh, hold any weight. Why is that? It's like, bitch, you don't like me. You hate me. You can't stand me. I make you sick. To the point, these bitches was creating troll accounts and shit. Trying to come for me. Getting other niggas, creating accounts, trying to come for me and shit. It was crazy. But um, but you trying to use my little tactics, that's cute. That's cute, huh? Um, mm -hmm, I see you, boo. <laughs> but, bitch, if you're going to come for somebody, use your own tactics. Don't use mine. And make sure, if you're going to use tactics like that, make sure it holds weight. That it means something. Make sure you have your facts together. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. It's just like, that's crazy, though. That's crazy. I remember... Um... And I was at FedEx, right? It's this woman on there. I mean, she just couldn't stand my ass. She didn't like anybody, really. She usually target new people. She tried to target me, too, and I wasn't having it. So, I guess because I wouldn't let her boss me around or whatever like that, I became enemy number one. Because, you know, I came up in there. I didn't really kiss nobody's ass. I just came to do what I had to do to get the fuck out. 
child, they still can't stand me to this day because of that. Because before I got into FedEx, when I worked at my other security job, I try to be friendly. I try to go to people's baby showers and things like that and be, you know, that co-worker that was, you know, um, I try to be like the people person and try to, you know, open up a little bit to my co-workers and be warm, but then that ain't good all the time. I'm going to talk about that one later, but that that's not good all the time. Now, don't get me wrong, but everybody experiences is different because everybody ain't, ain't for you. And it got to the point, I said, you know what, when I get to this job, I'm just going to keep to my motherfucking self. I guess you damn if you do, and you damn if you motherfucking don't, you know. But I, I stick to keep keep it to myself. It's, it's way better, less drama. Nobody can, you know, flip and switch up your words and shit. Nobody can um, talk about you, talk about how you was at a party. Um, at work, you know, on, on a per thinking that they know you like that on a personal level, you ain't got to worry about that shit. You know, I try to be, I try to be sociable, you know, socialize with my coworkers, but you know, that's not good all the time. I'm not saying don't ever do it, but I'm talking about me. My, this is my personal experiences. It just, you know, it just doesn't pay. Do that with your own discretion. That's all I'm saying. And watch the company you keep. And if you can't get away from certain um, groups, get away. But um, what I was gonna go, I was gonna go on to something else. I talked about yeah, people copying me. Oh yeah, this bitch, Stacy. Yeah, that's her real name. Um, this chick really has some mental issues. She, when I was a new hire at FedEx, do you realize this bitch used to follow me in the bathroom? I used to push in the pit. Those of you know, y'all don't know what a pit is, whatever. Like that's when we push the boxes in, the packages and the thing. Well, anyway, ain't gonna explain. And she used to do the scanning. That's before I got promoted to, to um, the scanner or whatever like that. Um, this bitch, like literally I, okay it was that time of the month so i grabbed my purse and went to the bathroom and came right back right i finished doing and handling my business this is when we were on speaker term do you know this bitch was like now pretty much scan is supposed to be busy and shit this bitch fucking described how i fucking grabbed my bag she said oh i thought you were leaving Cause I don't know what it is about people thought I was going to quit. Then I found out certain other people quit before I came there. So I don't know. They couldn't handle the job. Um, she said, oh, I thought you left. I saw you grab your purse. I was like, I'm thinking like, why is this bitch watching me? This bitch used to follow me in the bathroom. Like if I go to the bathroom, she'll go in there. This is when she started getting to her, like, funny mode, when she stopped really speaking to me and stuff like that, because I had to tell a manager on her because she was doing something. It was annoying me, and one of the women there advised me. She said, go in here and tell, go tell, um, go tell the manager or whatever, because she had a problem with her, too, and I went and, you know, told him what was going on. He had to talk with her, and she was like, well, why you didn't? Just, you know, you're a beautiful girl and everything. Why you just didn't talk to me? She's a hard woman to talk to. Let's just say that. She's a hard woman to talk to. Um, I did actually tell her once. And it's like, pew. So I told the manager, I said, you know, can you have a talk with her? So it was like, ever since then, she's kind of like been acting real funny and shit like that. Um, so I just basically kept to myself. And I guess some and that rubs a lot of bitches the wrong way, I guess. But then I start seeing how wicked some of these women are. Like, like they'll throw like boxes at you and shit. Oh, I'm straying away. I'm sorry, but it is this is ranting fucking Saturdays. So, um, 
So this is free mode. This is rant to Saturdays. But let me get back to Stacy. Okay. I'm at the it was a whole bunch of other antics and shit. One time she uh followed me in a bathroom one time and literally just stood. She didn't even go to no stall or nothing. Um I came out the stall to wash my hands. And she literally, like, stood where the um, paper towel was, like, just standing there watching me. Just standing there watching me. Just, I'm like, you you funny or something? She ain't say nothing. And I just left. And then the last time when I was there, last event bathroom encounter with her, it was some other women in there. Um, one of the women used to give me a ride uh, home. It was, you know, two other women in the almost cool way. It was her, and it was uh, it was Stacy, and it was one of her little protégés. You know, she was a newbie there that she she liked to um, hang around beautiful, like, pretty girls, pretty women. She loved hanging around pretty women for some reason. I, I, that, I'm like, I don't know if she's funny. I don't know. She just liked to hang around pretty women. She's not really that pretty herself. She could be, but, she, I mean... Her spirit is so nasty. This bitch eyes is literally red. I shit you not. She has red eyes. I ain't talking about the white. I'm talking about, you know, the, the pupil. Her eyes are red. It's like a brownish red. She that she's that evil. And um what happened? Oh yeah, we was in the bathroom, right? And I'm I'm in there. I said, excuse me. She dropped the stall. I said, excuse me. She started talking in the air. Talking about ignorant people. Ignorant people. Ignorant, these ignorant people in here. They was like, who are you talking about? She was too scared to say my name. Because she know I'm subject to run up on a motherfucker. And be like, don't you ever do that again. Because I had to do that to her a couple of times. Like, what you said? Because she, 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 she be talking shit. You know, it's like noises and the uh, she she's one of those workplace warriors. She talk a lot of shit, and then she go run and leave early and go run to her car. She's one of them motherfuckers. She'll talk shit and then go run away before you can catch up to her. Never by herself, always in a group. I had to catch her by herself a couple of times and let her fucking know, like you ain't slick. Watch your mouth. Oh yeah, I had to run up on her a couple of times. She's a she's a scary bitch. She's a scary bitch. But, um, yeah, we in the back. She's like, these ignorant people. They were like, who you talking about? She was too scared to mention my name. So I come out the store. At this point, it was her and her protege. Her protege, um, was putting on her makeup or doing something. And I was washing my hands and stuff. And she said, yeah, sometimes I got to come on here and rebuke the fucking devil. Now, mind you, I'm like, okay, this bitch is trying to run up on me. You know how people be talking in the air, but they talking about you, but they too scared to talk to you? It was one of them situations. Her protege was right here. This bitch was scared to look at me. I was in there. I'm, I ain't say nothing. I'm Because this woman, let me tell you something about Stacy. She's good for getting people fired. She's good for getting people to fuck her up so they can get fired. Because I've witnessed that when I was a new hire, that's why I left her the fuck alone. Because it was this one woman, her name was um, Michelle. Michelle was like a goofball, truck, you know, loud mouth. And she was getting, she had letters in her file. You had three letters, you're fired. She already had two. Stacy knew that. Stacy said something to her one day. Michelle ran up on her in the can and jacked her up and knocked her on the ground. Michelle had a temper. And I was like, yo, yo, the manager's coming. What are you doing? The manager's coming. The manager's coming. So they, they got up and stuff like that. But somebody already told and they fired her. So, um, yeah, she's good for that. So I guess she was trying to incite a fight. But I kept my cool. I was like, okay. She said, sometimes I got to repeat the fuck at devil. And it sounded like she was like one up on me. I was looking at her through the mirror. I said, this bitch touch me. If this bitch, that's what I was waiting on. I said, if this bitch touch me, because as long as they don't touch you. But I said, if this bitch touch me, that's assault. 
I'm, she's subject to get her ass whooped because that's going to be self-defense. If somebody touch you first, you got every right to defend yourself. She wants me to fucking throw the first blow. I say, well, I see what she doing. I believe me, I'm washing my hands. I left father there or whatever. I think she left before I did. That bitch flew out of there. When she saw her protege left child, she ran behind her. I go outside, I go out there. No trace of this bitch. No trace. But um this same bitch, um, before that, a couple of years before that, uh, we in the parking lot. This was I in my car, waiting for the shuttle, right? She was there, she was standing with some girl. I think she was fairly new. This bitch had a whole conversation, and now she was low-key talking about me in the air. Because that's what she do. She too scary to say something to me in my face. This bitch had a whole conversation about motherfuckers on her belt. Blah, blah, blah. And then she proceeded to describe her character, which really is my character. She was projecting herself using my characteristics. She said, oh, my real one, not the fake one she was screwing out, claiming I'm the devil and shit, when I ain't done nothing to this bitch. She usually says something to me. Even It was this old woman that used to work there named Snow had to walk, had to walk up on her and say, yo, what? Because she was talking shit, calling her all kinds of motherfuckers and bitches and stuff. That's what she did. Yeah. And claim to be a Christian girl, claim to be saved. Um... She was like, yeah, you know, these motherfuckers on the, on my belt, blah, 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 blah. All I do is come to work and I'm quiet. I don't say nothing to nobody. I don't say nothing to nobody. I do my job and I keep to myself. Ain't that my personality? But those who know me know. Not me. Not only, but those who know me know. That's my motherfucking personality, bitch. Tell about she don't say nothing to nobody. As much as she don't curse people out in that pit. Oh, she ended up in a pit because she got demoted. Because too many people was complaining about her fucking ass. Let me tell you something. It's so bad that every month we used to get scheduled. People used to, ch we used to check out the schedule. The people, when I used to push in the pit every time. We used to check out the schedules to make sure we don't get her to push for. That's how bad this bitch was. And she's still there, but she works um in another area now. But she's still there though. Child. It it was it was bad. But for her to call me the fuck devil, but you know what? They call Jesus the, the prince of devil. So not comparing myself to Jesus, but I'm just saying. It's like Really, bitch? And oh, when we got married, when I got married, when I got married, because she used to be cool with my husband. Child, a whole bunch of them used to be cool with my husband. My husband used to work in another area. And then he ended up working in our area. That's how me and him really, really got to talking. We we spoke a couple of times before that when I used to work with extra um hours on another shift, but movie that's when we really got to talking child when we got married all of a sudden this bitch is fucking married really you go away for a weekend and you married too child it was so bad up in there when we got married it was this little um i ain't gonna be mean though but um i ain't gonna talk about him he gonna he I'm going to save him for another story. It was so bad. It was bitches up in here who been with niggas for years. And so they claim. When we got married, these bitches was buying rings and shit. Claiming they fucking married too. But you never, when they be on a bus or whatever like that, you never see them with their man. You never, ever, ever see them with their man. Nowhere. 
I mean, I'm. It's that fucking bad. And that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm so glad I work at home. I'm a housewife. I work at home. Stress free. From the nonsense. And girl, let me tell y'all. Do you know these motherfuckers still ask about me? I shit you not. One day, well, I'm not going to tell it. But one day, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show it better I'm going to tell it. I'm going get, to get the stuff set up and situated. I'm going to show y'all better than I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all think I'm fucking playing. These motherfuckers, I don't even know half these bitches. They be walking up to my husband. So, you know, he's still there. He work in the office now. Literally, literally, purposely passing by his office, asking about me. He told me it was a woman who recently asked about me. But they don't, the thing is, some of them are rude about it. They don't say, oh, how you doing? How's your wife? You know what they're asking with the, the bitches? Not the people we cool with, but the bitches. You know how they approach my husband? Where your wife working at? He was like, why you want to know where she work at? Do you know her like that? Well, no, I'm just asking. It's just a question. No, I had to school my husband. I said, no, you know what it is? Because they probably want to fuck with me on my other job. Because, you know, the way technology is set up now, if it's say if you say I work for Merrill Lynch and they know what firm or exactly where I work at, what they want to do, they want to call my fucking boss and tell a whole bunch of lies and shit. That's what they do. They do that shit on YouTube. Child, they be fucking getting people fired, show, showing their bosses their videos and shit to get calling CPS some people. Child, it's fucking bad on YouTube. They do that shit on YouTube. If YouTubers do that, imagine motherfucker. Remember I did a video on hitting enemies. I got bitches that I don't even know that don't fucking like me. I don't even know these motherfuckers. They just like, they coming out of nowhere like roaches. I don't even know them. I got people, I don't, I be, I always ask my husband, um, do I know this person? Because he tells me everything that goes on on the job. He tells me everything. But this last person took the cake. It's always the same thing. Where your where your wife work at? Why is she working? Why you want to know my work? You know what it is. They pissed off. These motherfuckers are mad because they know I used to bust my fucking ass. And half of them that's asking am I working? Half of them are the ones they used to tell other motherfuckers not to help me. So I gotta do work of two people sometimes. And I get the job done. The thing is, they was trying to get rid of me that way, and they couldn't. Because I got so, my body got so adapted to the job that I always got my fucking shit done. And they, they couldn't, it baffles them to this day. And then us getting married, ooh, that really confused. That that threw a wrench on their you know, plans. That threw everybody off when we got mad because we ain't tell no motherfucking body. The reason why they knew is because I told my manager that we need that time off because we was getting mad. So he ran his motherfucking mouth. That's the only reason why they knew. And I came to work with my ring one time. I don't think I should have done that. that. Now that I think back on that, that wasn't really wild. Cause it was an actually real diamond ring, engagement ring. I don't think that was a wise decision to do because now I think about it, I don't trust them motherfuckers up in here. I don't trust a motherfucker up in here. You know, and and you don't think you don't think the motherfuckers try to rob you? Cause now I think about it, I was young and if I now think about it, I shouldn't have done that. But um. Yeah, it's like, they still asking about me. Why? Why is y'all asking about me? 
You don't fucking like me. If I was there, what? You just gonna watch me fucking work? That's all what the fuck you gonna do? Just sit there and watch me work and be like, and be like oh, oh, they'll, they'll help her. You better not help her. Let me tell y'all something, right? I don't know if I told this story before, but a couple of years ago, we went to this um, supermarket, Supremo's. Like, it was on Saturday. My, my husband was off on Saturday. That's when he used to work on Sunday. Well, he still worked on Sunday, but that's when he used to have Saturday off. And that was our time to, you know, go run errands and, and do what we need to do. So we go, we go food shopping together and this woman, okay, we walking down the aisle, right? This woman just steps out literally in front of me. She just steps out and just stares at me and I'm looking at her like, do I know you? I'm like, I'm, I'm like looking like, okay, do I know you? Like, why are you stepping out in front of me like that? So, let me show y'all. She looks at me like, with this blank look. Then she looks over at my husband. Oh, hey, how you doing? And then walks away, right? That's weird, right? And I asked my husband. I guess she thought that I was one of them jealous bitches to be like, what the fuck you... No, no, I'm not like that. I was never like that. See, I'm one of them confident women that my husband could talk to females. As long as it's in a respectable manner, I don't care if he talk to women. I don't, as long as it's respectable. I don't care. I'm, I've always been like that. I've been like that with my ex-fiance. I've been like that with every, you know, Whoever I was dating, you talk to a woman, it's fine as long as, you know, that you acknowledge me. Okay. I don't care. So, she he could greet her. It didn't bother me. I thought, she, maybe she thought I was going to get all jealous and say, be like, who the fuck is that? No, I'm not one of them chicks. I'm not one of them. Okay. So, I asked him, I said, who's that? Like, why is she acting like that? He said, oh. She, 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 um, she woke up fat ass. I said, oh, so when he said that, I already knew. Mumba, see, these bitches forgot. I used to work there. These bitches forgot. So I said, oh, okay, I already knew it was them. Why the fuck, when we was at the checkout, when we was at the checkout, this butt bitch kept pacing back and forth. It was so bad, you guys. It was so bad. The people in the line with us was looking at her and was like, what is wrong with her? I shit you not. I wish I would have fucking took a, like a, um, I had my phone. Did I have my phone? I wish I would have took a glimpse of what she was fucking doing. They was like, what? Even the cat, the, the, the cashier looked and saw it. She kept pacing back and forth, looking at us. Like, she was acting like she was getting, kept looking at us and shit. And I'm like, the fuck is, we looking like, what's wrong with her? Right? So, I said, I know what it is. She trying to make it seem like something's going on with y'all. See, I know, the, I know the games these fucking bitches play. She trying to make it seem like, Something was going on. And then really nothing was going on. You know what I mean? Trying to stir up some mess. I'm going to tell y'all about that later. What happened to my, my bestie, my best, best friend I knew from school. Her brother worked out there. He been working out at that, that same FedEx for years. Long before I we even worked there. He was telling me some fucking stories and some shit he went through after when he got married. Well, I'm going to get to that next. But, um... We was like, the fuck wrong with her? So, we make, she goes to the, the, the cashier. She noticed we all noticed, like, noticing we looking at her. This bitch decides to go to the cashier next to her. The line next to her. I'm so glad we got the fuck up out of there before her. Because it was like, I don't know if she's trying to call some people. 
to because that's what motherfuckers, that's what fucking crazy ass bitches do. They get on their phone and text and call motherfuckers. I don't trust that. I don't trust some motherfucking ass. I don't. Because it's like she acting really fucking suspicious and I don't fucking know her. And I asked my husband, I said, do you, you know, are y'all cool on the job? He said, she don't say shit to me at work now. I said, really? Because, you know, he's cool with some people and then some people, they just not. Some people he used to be cool with and they, you know, kind of drifted apart or whatever like that. Not everybody was happy that he got married and he changed his life. And that's when we was started. We was going to church. Before we got married, he started coming to church with me and stuff. They couldn't stand that. He used to cuss and cuss motherfuckers out. Child, when he started, when he stopped cursing people out and he stopped, he started growing his goatee, looking all sexy and shit. Got managers talking to him, you look nice, you looking good. And, you know, I'm, ooh, you didn't prove. You know, they didn't like that shit. They didn't like that part of him. They liked the part of him when he was cussing motherfuckers out, goofing around, playing around. When he got with me, he changed. And he changed for the better. And they couldn't stand that shit. They couldn't stand it. He changed for the better. So... Um, he curved the curse in and stuff like that and everything. Like, I curse, but usually I curse when I'm upset. I normally don't really curse. Especially when I'm, like, really into to the church and stuff like that and into serving God. I normally, I won't say I don't curse out, but I normally, will, I rarely curse. Only when I'm upset. Like, right now, I'm hyped up and I'm a little, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to curse. So, yeah, so that was going on. That's one, like, that's part of it. We got, like, situations where um, on my husband and me and him, we could be, like, you know, just walking down. We could be, like, at a movie theater or going out or just walking down um, an avenue or something like that. He go to work. You know, he go to work the next day or go to work when it's time for him to go back to work. Oh, I saw you and your wife on so, 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 that. You got people that announce real loud where he be, where they be seeing my husband, seeing us at. Nigga, don't be fucking announcing where the fuck you be seeing us at. What the fuck wrong with you? Just say, oh, I see you guys. I saw y'all on Saturday. Yeah, I see you guys on um Terrence Avenue. Um, near the the shop, right? Announcing our fucking location. What the fuck wrong with your ass? And these are motherfuckers we ain't even that cool with. It's like, oh yeah, when I was there, when I was there, you got like I said, I didn't mind my husband speaking to females and greeting them and stuff like that. There were women, when I was there, when I was working there too, after we got married, it was women that he would speak to. Uh, he'll say hi to and this and that. And then, you know, I don't, I don't really say nothing to them. I guess it bothered them that I don't say, I mean, I don't know you like that. You know, that's, that's people that he's cool with. That's just, I guess that rubs in the wrong way because I'm not kissing their fucking ass. I don't know. But um, he'll speak to him. He'll say hi to him. He'll be like, hi, so-and-so. Let's just say he'll say hi, Linda, hi, this and that. Next thing you know, when I'm not around and he goes to the work area, he'll see the same person. Oh, you now you speak. You don't speak when your wife is around. That's a goddamn lie. These bitches be lying. Oh my God, they be tell. They used to tell so many fucking lies. You don't speak when your wife is around. You don't speak when everybody in the hallway see him. And that was my husband. My husband got a big mouth. He from Brooklyn, honey. He got a big fucking mouth. As loud as his mouth is, everybody could see him. 
greet this one, greet that one. He's like, hey, so and so, hey, so and so. He speaks. He's a he's a social butterfly. That's what he does. I'm not gonna stop him from that. I'm more of an introvert. He's an extrovert. He's a social butterfly. I'm not gonna stop him from that. That's who he is. And you got bitches just trying to tear him down. Oh, you don't speak when your wife is around. You don't speak to me. Then when he stops speaking to you, oh, but he don't speak. Then you got bitches that don't say nothing to him when my husband, when I'm around my husband, but speak to him when I'm not around. Then you got bitches that do speak to him when I'm around, or they speak to him in a certain way. They be like, hey, so, so, let's just say Mark. Hey, Mark. And then they'll cut me a little look to see how I'm going to react. Bitch, I'm not, you ain't no threat to me. I'm not one of them insecure bitches that don't like my husband talking to nobody. You got the wrong one, the wrong fat shit, sweetie. I'm not no insecure fat girl. Okay. I ain't got no motherfucking abandonment issues. I was raised with a mommy and a daddy. Mm-hmm. I ain't got none of them motherfucking issues. So, now nah, I got issues, but I ain't got no type of issues. I don't want my man talking to nobody. And this and that, he mine. I, I'm not like, I'm not on that level, boo boo. That's, that's craziness. Because I know what it's like to be with a possessive motherfucker. And it ain't fun. It ain't cool. It ain't nothing cute about it. So, um, yeah, I gave him the freedom. He talk whatever he want, as long as it's respectful. Now, if some lines start getting crossed, that's when I got to step in and shut that motherfucker down. So they got me fucked up. I can shut it down anytime I want to. So, yeah, that's some of the stuff that was going on. I got it's motherfuckers up in here and I'm talking about the guy. You got some stupid ass, sick ass motherfucking uh milly mouth niggas up in there. Um, and some of them are older, trying to act like they young and shit like that. It was this down low gay motherfucker they down low. Um yeah, that that nigga. That that drunk. Call himself. I guess he saw us or saw my husband out and about one day and called himself, and this motherfucker is a team leader, called himself. Now, some people, oh, some people, I will mention motherfucking name. It's safe now. I, I will mention name because I ain't there no more. So, called himself going to work the next day. Oh. Um, I saw you on Soul Soul Street. I, I, I started to get out of my car and whip your ass. What? I told my husband, I said, he can get fired for that because that's a, like, he's threatening to assault you. He can literally like get fired for that. That's why I don't trust him. You should hear some of the shit that come out of these people's mouths, honey. I won't be surprised somebody roll up in there and, and go, I don't trust them. I don't trust them, motherfucker. I told you. I told my husband, I say, mark my words. And when I point and do this, I say, mark my words. Those, those, who, know, those who know, know. Someone point their finger like this. I say, mark my words. You gonna hear about some of the motherfuckers on the news. Some of the ones that we know that we encounter, you gonna hear about them on the news. It ain't gonna be nothing nice. I say mark my words. And usually, as scary as it sounds, usually I'm always on point. But um my cat is robbed the fuck out good. That way he get out of my way. <laughs> Glad he's knocked out. 
But anyway, um, what else? I think it's something else. I'll come back because I got some other stuff I want to get off my chest and rant about on Rent to Saturdays. Bye.